hello you are welcome from here we want to find the value of x given that root 5 times cube root of 5 times 4 root of 5 times 6 root of 5 over 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 1 from here we can write what we have here again and that will be 5 raised to the power half that's another way of writing root 5. Then times also we can write cube root of 5 as 5 raised to the power 1 over 3. Then times also we write this as 5 raised to the power 1 over 4. Then times 5 raised to the power 1 over 5. Then divided by we have 5 raised to the power 2x then equals to 1. So from here, we can bring this together on the law of indices in this power, this, this base are the same and they multiply so we can add the power and this will be 5 raised to the power half plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 then divided by 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 1 this is from the law of indices and in the next step we can find the lcm here of 2 3 4 and 5 and that will give us 60 so we can say 5 raised to power the lcm there is 60 so 2 goes in 60 that's 30 then 30 times 1 that's 30 plus 3 goes in 60, 20 times 1, that's still 20, plus 4 goes in 60, that's 15, times 1, still 15, then plus 5 goes in 60, that's 12, times 1, that's still 12, then divided by 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 1. And from here, when we sum this up, this will give us 5 raised to the power 30 plus 20 plus 15 plus 12, that's 77, that's 5 raised to the power 77 over 60, then divided by 5 raised to the power 2x, and this is equal to 1. And then from here, we can apply the law of indices here. We have seen this, the divide, that means we subtract the power. So this becomes 5 raised to the power 77 over 60 minus 2x then from here we can change this to base 5 as well for we to have 1 that means we have 5 raised to the power 0 because any number raised to the power 0 is 1 then the base are equal let's equate the power now we have 77 over 60 minus 2x equals to 0 and from here, we can take minus 2x there, become plus, and that will be 77 over 60 equals to 2x. Now, we divide both sides by 2. So, we divide this side by 2, and also we divide this side by 2. You can write it like this, that's divided by 2 over 1 instead of bringing it there. So, 2 cancel to here, and uh, we can say x here. It now be equal to 77 over 60. Change division to multiplication. That will be times 1 over 2. So this will turn, you know, we change direction. And that means x equals to, we have 60 times 2, that's 120. And this will give us 77 over 120. So from here, we have the value of x in this problem to be 77 over 120 then to check from what we have we can go a little bit back to this step here because from here we have simplified the problem to an extent here then put the value of x which is 77 over 120 from here so by the time we substitute that we got x to be equal to 77 over 120 now substitute that here we have 5 raised to the power 77 over 60 divided by 5 raised to the power 2 
times 77 over 120. From here, this is equals to 1. Is this equals to 1? Then when we look at this, this power multiplies and 2 here, we go in 120, that will be 60. And that same thing as 5 raised to power 77 over 60 divided by 5 raised to power 77 over 60 now. Is this equals to 1? Then we have same number dividing each other. So this cancel each other and that is 1. So we can say this is 1 on this side which is equals to 1 on this side. Then we have left hand side equals to right hand side. So therefore x is equals to 77 over 120 in this problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you in the next class. Bye for now.